Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Master Mode. In the last episode, uh... What did we... Oh, we, we did this. Yeah, that, uh... That whole thing. I, I just recorded that, like, ten minutes ago, and I already can't remember what we did. Uh, this time, I said we were gonna take care of this Spiral Peninsula area over here. I just realized I start, like, every episode by pausing, but whatever. Uh, we're gonna take care of this whole situation here. Um, there is a shrine here, I will say that much. What we have to do to get it... Uh, you'll see. I'm also hearing a Korok right now, but I don't... I don't know where it is. I hear it. I know it's... You know what? We're, we're gonna... We're gonna find this Korok first. Oh. It's a... This. Okay. Oh. Gotcha. Cool. I'm just gonna ignore the fact that there's wolves over there right now. I hate these ones because I always feel like I'm adjusting too much for them. Shit. And I can never tell where exactly they, like... Are. Like, I don't know how far away these went. Why did I just shoot there? Well, this is going well so far. Okay, stay there. Okay, there's one. There's a miss. There's two. There's three. There we go. See, it's like I know what I'm doing. Thank you. So, from what I understand... Um, shut up, wolves. Um, there's no real way to see your totals for, like, the number of Korok seeds collected. Because if you go into your menu, actually, I'll just, I'll show it. Your Korok seeds shown here are only what you have on you right now. For the total number you've collected, you have to actually go to a, uh... I don't remember you guys being a thing. You have to actually see the loading screen. Um, this is completely different. <laughs> I, uh, I wanted to come and do this, but I don't remember there being dudes on horses here. I, I could just be totally wrong and not remembering right, but I swear I, I do not remember there being dudes on horses. But whatever, we're gonna, we're gonna deal with this situation. Goodbye. I'm not gonna take your bow, though, because it sucks. Get down. Oh, damn, that was one hit. Wow. Look at that. Okay, so, basically, you can see in the middle there's one of those receptacles, right? You gotta put one of those glowing balls in there. Well, the ball is not anywhere near that. The ball, uh, you can't see it because it's overcast. The ball is very far away, is what I will say. It's actually, okay, the thing is here, right? Or actually, that, that might be it. But either way, it doesn't matter. The ball is up here. So what the game is expecting you to do is come all the way down and around and put the ball in there. But there are enemies everywhere, as you can see. So there's two ways you can do this. You can cheese it and just kind of skip as many of the enemies as you possibly can. Or... Oh, did that hit me too? Why? Why did that hit me? Oh, I guess because it hit the water. That was dumb. I, I want. Thank you. So what I think I'm going to do is try to just take out as many of the enemies as I can and then cheese the rest of it. I don't know if that's a common saying. Is cheesing something a common saying? I feel like it's not. To cheese something, for any who might be wondering, just means to do something not the intended way and kind of... It basically means do something wrong, but... I mean, it can only be as wrong as you make it, kind of thing. Like, if you if you kind of exploit, like, for example, once you get to here on the, on the spiral, you can just cross because this is a sandbar. The water doesn't go deep enough for you to have to swim, so you can just cross there. That would be kind of cheesing it because you're not doing it the intended way, but, I mean, I guess that is kind of intended, otherwise they wouldn't have put that sandbar there. I don't know if I'm making sense. I'm probably not making sense. How did I not get a standard-ass crab yet? <laughs> Ooh, what do you have? Oh, you've got a Lionel Club. Well, now you don't. And actually, I'll use that until further notice. Because it can beat the shit out of you, more gooders. 
All right, he's dead. So now we've got four? No, it's only three. Okay, so now we got three moblins up here. I don't feel like dealing with them. I feel like they're not worth it. Moblins, I feel like, are just... They're never worth the time. I still will, actually, what I'll do... Since, uh... Since we want to be a big boy here. Oh, you asshole. All of you die, please. Now come in with the this. Smack him in the mouth. Don't run away from me, you... I was behind him. How did that hit me when I was, like, at his... Could you stop running away from me? Oh my god. Okay, you know what? Eat a dick. Thanks. Goodbye. And goodbye. You're dead. Just get out of my life. Good lord. I hate moblins so much. They are not... How is this doing, like, zero damage to this guy? All right, ready? 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 Bye! God. I, I just... I hate moblins. I... They're, like... They're not interesting to fight. They're just big and annoying. I don't know. Like, Henoxes are big, but they aren't annoying. They're actually interesting to fight. Moblins, I just... They're... There's nothing interesting there. At least not to me. Anyway, enough of my bitching. So our big glowing ball is right up here. Right by these ruins. Actually, I think it's right in the center of those ruins. And we are seven minutes in. We've barely done anything. But, but when you think about it, we have made progress because those guys down there, we were going to have to kill them anyway. Now, as long as no blood moon happens in the next few minutes we should be fine and korok puzzle hello is that a korok puzzle it looks like it but i don't see a i don't see a thingy to use where are you at oh there it is <laughs> oh good lord so i'm assuming i just have to make this symmetrical right uh can, can you let me just look at this for a sec uh, two and two, yeah. What's missing here? Oh, that's what's missing. Uh, 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 plop. Pl plop? No plop? Wait, oh. Oh, I'm dumb. Okay, what am I missing? I thought it was I thought it was one of these ones because I thought this side was up high. Oh no, it is. It's it's just I knew something was off there. I just I guess I couldn't see what it was. Uh, uh, um, uh, did I just? <laughs> um, excuse me. There we go. That was weird. Okay, so does it have to be mirrored or symmetrical? I guess that's the answer. Thank you. Anyway, I was talking about Koroxes before. Man, I get distracted easily. Um, you can't see your totals unless you go to a loading screen. So right now I think I have, if I were to guess, because I'm not actually 100% sure, I think I have something like a couple hundred, maybe a few hundred. Um... And I think you get upgrades until you spend like 400 or so Korok seeds with Hestu. So I am going to be grabbing them, but they are mostly off screen. I think I've addressed that already. Um, I will make mention of when I go to Hestu off screen, but I'm not going to show like every time I get a Korok seed because I just that'll get monotonous after a while. If I pass any, then sure, I'll grab them. Otherwise, I'm not going to not going to bother. Also. On the topic of the structure of episodes, sorry, I just, like, kind of burped, and that was... It, it cut off my speech there. <laughs> Too much information, I don't care. Uh, on the topic of, like, episodes and stuff, I think what I'm going to do from now on is aim for shorter episodes. I I think I had the same problem when I first started recording for this series. Um, I think what I'm going to end up doing is make my episodes ideally between, like, 15 and 20 minutes, maybe a little over 20 
because lately they've been approaching the half hour mark a little too often, more often than I'd like anyway. So I think I'm just going to shorten them up a little bit just because I feel like people don't have enough time to sit down and watch a half hour of just one, one video, right? It would be different if I was like posting one video a week or whatever, but because I'm posting ideally three, then, you know, it gets to be a little much. Because three at 20 minutes would be what, like an hour? Whereas if I'm posting three at a half hour, it's an hour and a half. So to me, I feel like that's a little much. But I don't know. I know some people like the longer videos, but I think just to just to be as accessible as possible kind of thing. I don't want to isolate people because they don't have that much time to put into watching stuff. But that's just my thoughts. That's that's me. That's me thinking logistically while I'm trying to play a game. How long is this? Oh my god, I'm not even at the second curve yet. Okay, this is going to take a while. Uh... Maybe I should speed this up. But then again, if I get into a fight, I don't want to have to stop. Decisions, decisions. Can I pick up these guys while I'm carrying something else? Nope. Okay. Well, the good part is once we get over toward that side where I'm pointing the camera right now, we will be able to... This dude's going to see me. We will be able to just cross the river. Oh, maybe he won't see me. That's right. You keep swimming. You lizard bastard. Think you're... Think you're all tough and shit, just swimming in there. Nuh uh. What's also good about this shrine, <laughs> and kind of just getting it over with, is that this is one of the shrines where it's like your challenge was outside of the shrine, so it's just going to be a blessing. Which is kind of nice. Stop, please. You're going to wake up this lizard. I don't want him to be awake because he's going to make me drop the ball. Chill. Wherever the hell you are. I, I don't even know where that. Where is that Octorok? I didn't really want to look for him because I was too focused on that lizard, but... Alright, whatever. I'm not complaining. He's done. He's out of the way. I just realized the last... Could you stop? I said stop. Come on, dude. It's not cool. Now, Octoroks suck. And I think I brought this up before. I'm not 100% sure, though. Because they lead their shots. So if you keep going in the exact same direction that you're heading it's pretty much guaranteed that they're going to hit you because they know just how much to lead their shots. I'm concerned about this guy. Because what they'll do, for some reason, the enemies here, they don't go for you. They go for the ball. They try to make it so that the ball gets far enough away from you that it despawns. Ugh, the enemy concentration is just way too huge around here. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he sees me. Oh, he sees me. Well, this one's for sure going to see me. Screw it. Just going to run. Don't care. Chase me all you want. You ain't catching shit. Hit me all you want. I don't care. Come on, take the swing. Take the swing. Take the swing. If you take the swing, you'll slow down. That's why I want you to do it. Oh, we're almost there. We are almost there. Oh, we're outside of his zone. He's going to leave me alone. Sweet. Sweet. The lizards are fast, so I'm more concerned about the lizards than I am about the Octorox and stuff. The Octorox can just keep pelting me. I don't care. Because they don't do that much damage. I can just tank that. Oh, he's going to sleep. Sweet! Okay, so as long as this guy doesn't come over and try to... Try to shove his entire foot up my ass, I should be okay. Look at this. Look at this professionalism! That wasn't bad. I, I will... I will fully concede that was not horrible. Shrine for your trouble? Yes, please. Thank you. Did I just... Did I just have a conversation with myself on behalf of the shrine? That might be a new personal low. Now, I am seeing that leaf pile back there. That leaf pile probably means that there's a Korok there, but I can't do... I don't think anything about it because my fire arrows in the rain, I don't think do anything. Yeah, they don't do anything. So I'm going to have to come back for that when it's not raining. Once again, the rain in this game just, it doesn't add difficulty, it just makes you wait. I'm, I'm bitching again. I'll meet you inside. And blessing shrine. 
not complaining. In this case, I will say I don't mind this being a blessing because that took way too long to begin with. How many of those do I have now? Where are they? I have the amount, the exact amount of too goddamn many of those. I have six of those now. That's insane. For that item specifically, anyway, because they're really rare. Well, they're not really, really rare, but you get my point. Give me the goodies. He's not even sitting in an interesting position. Thank you. I will meet you guys outside. And welcome back. Ow, I just smacked my hand off my desk. Okay, so here's what we're doing next. Remember that Spring of Power quest that we got from the stable a few episodes back? I think it was when we activated this situation. We're going to go and do that. So what I'm going to do, because I don't think there's anything interesting between here and here, is I'm going to meet you kind of halfway when I'm probably floating down into here, to be honest. So sorry to be cutting around again, but I will meet you guys over there. Okay, I figure about here is okay to come back. Um, so, as I said, there's not really anything too noteworthy out here. Um, but I did kind of want to give context as to where we're going. So, that shrine with the, the, the stable with the shrine is up here. That's where I warped to. I just kind of came right down here and we're going into Ordorak Quarry? Ordorak? Or, or, I, don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. But basically, this area is filled with guardians. And by filled I mean there's three, but they're the aerial guardians, so they're they're just not a good time. So what I'm gonna do, if you do go down there, there's actually like, well, as you can see over, over there, there's some mining to be done down there, but it's nothing overly important. I, actually, there might be one thing of importance down there, um, but I'm not really willing to do anything about it right now. What I'm interested in is this right here. Uh, yeah, those. Did that not... Oh, because you're not supposed to. <laughs> I thought this was one of those piles of leaves that you could light on fire. I guess you can. Yeah, there we go. Except now this entire grass is going to set on fire. Hey, I made an updraft. Look at that. Ain't that fun? If you could just stop burning now, that'd be great. Kind of want to get through. Thanks. So if you played Skyward Sword, you'll kind of recognize this area. This is the Spring of Power. So basically that entire quest to come here is based on something we're going to do in a second. But there is a memory here. And I feel like we've got enough time this episode to make it work, so we're going to watch this cutscene real quick. I do like this place though, it's really pretty. Even in Skyward Sword is really pretty, to be honest. Link's all like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was here in reincarnation. Or just, you know, a hundred years ago. That works too. If you want to be boring about it. Come seeking help regarding this power that has been handed down over time. Prayer will awaken my power to seal Ganon away. Or so I've been told all my life. And yet, Grandmother heard them, the voices from the spirit realm. And Mother said her own power would develop within me. But I don't hear or feel anything. Father has told me time and time again. He always says, quit wasting your time playing at being a scholar. Curse you. I've spent every day of my life dedicated to praying. I've pleaded to the spirits tied to the ancient gods. And still the holy powers have proven deaf to my devotion. Please just tell me. What is it? What's wrong with me? I, um, probably should have mentioned a while ago, I haven't seen all of the memory cutscenes either. 
So that one was new to me. And that's a... Uh, that's a little bit of a feel. Kind of... I don't know. It's a... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. I guess hopelessness sort of thing? I don't know. That was... That was a thing. Anyway, what you can do at these springs is if you have... Um, Okay, let, let's let's look at this first of all. So, around here, you'll see the dragon uh, Dinral, the red one. Down here, in well, where is it? Down here in this area, and all the way over to Lake Hylia, you'll see Farosh, which is the green one. Actually, I think Farosh also comes down in through here or whatever. Um. In this area, which we haven't been to yet, which I think is actually what will tell us how to do things here, but I know how to do it anyway, so I'm going to do it now, is, uh, crap, what's his name? Mm, Nadra, that's it, Nadra, uh, which is the blue dragon that doesn't start off blue, but we'll deal with it. So, if you have a scale from each of those dragons, you can come into their respective province, which... This is technically Elden, sort of. This is Akala, but it's right on the border of Elden. So, we've got Dinral's scale. If you drop it into the pool here... Things start happening. Your path has shown itself. Now go forth. I didn't... I didn't need you to tell me that. I mean, I, I would've... Thanks, but I would've done that anyway. I, I really don't need your... Your blessing to go and get more... Purple... Purple monk balls. I'm... I'm all about doing that on my own anyway. <laughs> oh boy, I'll meet you guys inside. Okay, to be perfectly honest, I thought this was going to be a blessing. So this is, uh, <laughs> this is most unexpected and unwanted. But whatever, we're here now, we're going to do it anyway. I don't think I've... Have I done this one? This arena feels totally different. I, d I don't recall ever having done this one before. But, I mean, what's nice about it is you can make your own pillars between him and you, so... That's nice. Hit me. Hit me! Don't actually hit me. I don't... I don't want you to. Stop. <clears throat> oh, this is gonna take forever. Dude! I was gonna hit you. Don't be a... Oh, you're an ass. That's okay. Come at me. That's right. No, I want to charge. Oh, dude, come on. This battle axe is the worst. Two-handed weapons in this game are just horrible. Give him the old Beatus. There we go. Alright. Oh my lord. It's not difficult. It's just irritating. No worries. Wait, what if I... Am I ignoring, like, the easiest possible thing to do here? Yeah, I can just give him the old... Electroncity. <clears throat> oh, that didn't make him flinch. Give this to him. Oh, it's badly damaged. Yay! Got him. <laughs> oh, he's gonna do the... Yeah, the that. Oh, God. I thought I could get away from him quick enough. And here's what we're gonna do. Bomb him. Okay, we're almost done. We're almost done here. Dude, where do you think you're going? Stop this. I don't want to use the sword. Uh, I guess I have to. I mean, I could just use the master sword. There we go. We're good. Give me the goodies. Okay. That wasn't bad. I, I won't cut any of that. That wasn't horrible. It wasn't like the last couple of times where I try to fight these things and it just does not work. Also, that was my phone falling on the floor. So that's a... <laughs> that's a thing that just happened. I really hope this isn't a weapon, because I think I'm full, or almost full. Oh no, after the last couple episodes, no, I wouldn't be. Flame Spear? That ain't bad. 
I'll take that. All right, what position are you sitting in? I I'm taking note of this now because I, I remembered it from before. Like, they all sit in different positions, usually. Well, that makes sense for a test of strength, right? The fists together like that. That makes sense. All right, I'll meet you guys outside. I say I'm going to make my episode shorter, and we're already at, like, 28 minutes. So I'm going to call this episode here. Um, I don't know what we're going to do next time, actually. Well, actually, no, I have an idea. I think what we're going to do is discover this whole region here. Because there's a lot of stuff down there that'll, uh... That'll make our lives easier going forward. But I'll decide for sure, I guess, between episodes and wherever we're going to go, I'll just meet you there. Because it's easier logistically to just do that. Anyway, I'm rambling now. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you wherever I decide we're going.